Hey, this is Travis. Today we're going to go over BitTensor subnet number 60, BitSec, an exciting subnet that uses AI agents to do security audits. And before we start, none of this is financial advice. Millions of software developers and non-software developers are now using AI to write code. This is a tremendous societal advancement as it allows technological progress to accelerate. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg predicts that AI will be able to handle 50% of coding tasks by the end of 2026. However, it also means that there are millions of lines of code running right now that no humans have looked at, let alone audited for vulnerabilities. Auditing is especially important for financial code bases like cryptocurrency smart contracts. BitSec is positioned to be a code auditing AI agent platform that can handle the increased demand for audited code due to AIs now being able to generate code. So BitSec has miners create AI security auditing agents. Miners submit their code to validators, and then validators run miners as code to check for vulnerabilities in code bases. And the way that they're doing this is pretty exciting. BitSec borrows concepts from another subnet, Ridges subnet 62. The miner code delivered to validators becomes open source. So miners can see the current best code and improve upon it. I did a video on how Ridges works, link in the description. Thanks to this open source communal miner improvement, Ridges is now state of the art on many benchmarks. And there's no reason to believe that BitSec won't be able to do the same thing, but for code auditing. One of the issues with regular security audits is that since it sometimes takes months to do an audit, by the time the code has been audited and is now being executed, it's often outdated as software development companies are constantly shipping new features, features that aren't audited right away. This is where BitSec really shines. Audits are done extremely quickly, taking minutes, not months. Being able to immediately audit a code base reduces security risks significantly. And with the proliferation of AI-generated code, AI security agents are needed now more than ever. At the time of this video, miners' rewards are based on a modified Smart Contract Audit SEA benchmark. This benchmark tests that agents can identify vulnerabilities, and they're given a higher score for finding more vulnerabilities. The reason I say it's a modified SCA benchmark is because they're adding more tests, more code languages, making it more and more difficult for miners, but producing a better end product. There are some constraints for the code that miners submit. Agents cannot run executable code, and there are also humans in the validation loop checking that the minor improvements to the agent code are actual improvements and not exploits. They are learning from the path that Ridges paved here. So miners from anywhere and everywhere in the world compete daily to produce the most effective agent for finding code vulnerabilities. Now the subnet is a winner-takes-all subnet, which means that for each incremental improvement, there's a large bounty that goes to the one miner that makes the improvement. So at the time of this recording, the top miner on the subnet is making approximately $14,000 US dollars per day from emissions or approximately 70 tau. This, of course, will fluctuate. To have a stab at this $14,000 per day, you'll need AI agent coding skills and some serious prompt engineering. Now, this $14,000 US dollars per day is a ballpark estimate. We don't know exactly how much it'll be yet because the subnet has yet to turn on its emissions for V2. This should be happening very soon. So if you want to get a head start and contribute as a miner, the sooner you understand their incentive mechanism at a deep level, the better it will be for you because I think probably the best time to be mining on these subnets like Ridges and BitSec is the moment that they come out because that's when improvements are the easiest. After a few months, it's going to be really difficult to make an incremental improvement and to earn emissions on the subnet. Now, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as it really helps me produce more. Now, let's take a look at their roadmap. So, BitSec V1's goal was to confirm whether or not AI agents could find vulnerabilities in real code bases. And it did. It found exploits across various ecosystems. 
Now, with that confirmation that it can work, BitSex V2 upgrade went live recently, and it allows miners to be compared against the real-world smart contract audit benchmark. With this upgrade, miner performance is measurable, comparable, and improvable. As for now, BitSec is focused on cryptocurrency security. But in the longer term, BitSec will be extending its services to traditional Web2 security, penetration testing, model jailbreaking, infrastructure security, and any domain where exploit discovery is measurable. They are aiming for a product launch in Q1 of 2026, aiming to grab a chunk of the $200 billion per year cybersecurity market. This product will allow for scanning of repositories and pull requests with reporting based on the identified issues and exploits. As BitSec shows improvements on benchmarks, the theory is that those improvements will build trust, which drives usage, and then usage is directly tied to increased revenue for the subnet. As long as BitSec shows continuous benchmark improvement, revenue will follow. Now on the team, we have John Yu. He is the subnet owner. He has lots of experience developing smart contracts and helped scale Law360 when it was still a small startup. Vitaly is the senior developer. He has a data science background, along with being a very experienced full-stack web developer. Anon is in charge of marketing and has a crypto research background. So as for my thoughts, BitSec is one of the more exciting new subnets. A subnet that is tackling a new problem, that is the increase in AI-generated code that may not be as reliable as if a senior human engineer writes it. And there aren't many established players in this new space yet, so it's possible that BitSec will lead the way in this new world where AI-generated code is becoming the norm. I especially like how they're making the minor code base open source. If they execute this correctly, the open source nature of the subnet will ensure that it will become state-of-the-art and impossible for a centralized company to catch up with. Let me know in the comments if you think I missed anything. I read all your comments on my videos. Please understand that this is not financial advice. Valuations within BitTensor are tricky and not as straightforward as purchasing stocks.